to double check the video printer on Saturday. Cardiff, one at home, and they scored two goals? No way. James, Harry, you must have been rubbing your eyes, were you? How are you? Yes. Yes, I was rubbing my eyes. I'm well, how are you? <laughs> All right. Um, James, um, you've been lamenting the poor home season, or oh, the home form all season. Um, enjoy that one. Yeah, it was uh, quite refreshing, to be honest. This is the first time I've stood up uh, out of my seat before and half time, to be honest. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, nice nice to uh, score the two goals. And, um, yeah, we obviously we left Stoke back in just before half time with uh, a bit of a free kick. But, to be honest, it's just one of them, really. Um, it was a well-struck free kick. They managed to sort of follow up on that. But, yeah, we uh, managed to hold on, which was quite good. It showed... I think he showed a bit of the uh, earlier season form, really, with the resilient defence, especially in the last 10 minutes as well, because I think Stoke would have, uh, you know, probably deserved a point if uh, if anyone else was watching that, to be honest. But no, uh, our defence sort of held out for the win. Um, Harry, can I ask you quite honestly, um, were, were Cardiff that good or was Stoke that bad? I'd go with the second one, I think. I think we were all right. We took our chances, but they were poor. Yeah, in my opinion, I, I think. yeah. No, I've, if you listen to the, the, the Stoke view, he actually yeah. said Cardiff fully deserved they it. Weren't up to much at all. No, um, we we put a poll on Twitter last week about if if Buller was to lose this, then would would Cardiff fans want to get rid of Axe? It was unanimously that no, they want to want to keep him. Um, James, the comments that he made after the game were very much along the lines of, well, the, the fans were putting pressure on the team. Um, and, and you know, I think some fans have responded negatively to that. Um, I actually think the fans have been pretty patient with this team rather than putting pressure on them. But what's your view on it? Um, so I think, so I never actually seen that interview. I did see the comments and I seen that one or two people were saying it was interpreted in a different way, which I think a lot of these uh, European and foreign managers, um, you know, they say these things and the way obviously because their English isn't always like perfect, it'll, it'll always come across like a different way. Um, I think obviously the fans have been quite patient with Errol Bullet. Um, I, I was a bit frustrated, obviously, after the last uh, you know run of results. But after really thinking of it, I do think that uh, but Bullet does need to stay and hopefully in the summer get his own sort of players in and sort of build from in. And obviously, we look at it then at this sort of stage next season and where we are then if we sort of progressed. Okay, um, Harry. All the teams below Cardiff have at some point changed their manager. Um, this this season, um, have you remained faithful throughout all of this? Have there, has there been a point where you've wanted this manager out? And if and if not, um, why not? No, I've not wanted him out. However, I am a little bit surprised he's still there. The way the way he comes across in interviews and things like that, he seems quite passionate. Seems like if it's not going for him, then he will go. I don't think he'll be there at the start of next season. Personally, yeah, um, that's that's just the vibe I get from him. I think there's a lot of talk for, for a side that aren't doing that badly. We were, you know, I know we're a little bit off the playoffs now, but four or five games ago, we were a couple of points off the playoffs. So for a side who were doing all right mid table, there's a lot of talk around the manager going, which is a little bit unusual, I think, because we're not in a relegation battle, we're not overachieving it, we're sort of a little bit stagnant, if you like. So it's a funny one. I, I don't, I don't hold out much positivity moving forward. I don't want him to go and I don't want him to sack him, but I don't I don't see him staying. No. Um James, do you do you agree, first of all, you're not in a relegation battle? We had the Swansea boys on earlier and they were asking who's going to go down and they actually put Cardiff or uh, Stoke and Rotherham in, in their bottom three. Um of course they did. Do you think do you, I mean do you think it will be 44 points, nine points above the drop, do you think you're going to be all right? I think I think overall, yeah, we will be. If uh, if we'd have lost this game, I think then you could have sort of looked over your shoulder. Not a lot, but just it's always there, you know. You know, the championships like three wins, you're a bit, you know, into the top half, three losses, you're in sort of, you know, around the 17th, 18th, but it all depends. Um, yeah, I mean, to be honest, 
I, I'm quite happy with where we are at the moment. Um, obviously, I think this point last season, we were around sort of 19th, 20th. Um, we, and we were sort of looking over our shoulder each game and we was wondering, um, you know, well, you know how Huddersfield are doing, how, how Reading are doing. We don't have that problem this year. Um, I, I think that we've got enough games in us now the next sort of months or so now um you know survive well not survive but sort of just not have to worry about it i would like arrow bullet to stay next season um i think he's come out and said that as well but it all depends how the board approach it in the summer that you know the funds going to be available and that'll be a, that'll be a big um point whether he sort of stays or goes really Okay, uh, and finally, Harry. So two more wins gets you to fifty points, um, which is the magic number for survival. And of course, I'm guessing that you would love those two more wins to come against Bristol City this weekend, and of course that team in white uh, in a couple of weeks' time. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And, and then you would you happily lose the rest of the games if, if you know, um, knowing if you just got those two wins? Yeah. <laughs> okay, right. so, happily 50 Be- points beats Swansea we turn, we turn Bristol City over 3 nil and do the Jacks 3 nil away I'll lose every game for the rest of the season don't fair you? enough fair enough <laughs> you can be dining out on that for three months alright no nice. problem alright okay well good looking at Bristol City this weekend let's have some quick score prediction from you James please I'm going to go 1-1 one, one. okay mm-hmm. Harry 3-1 Cardiff Amazing. All right. Cheers, fellas. Enjoy the game. Um, it's nice yeah. to see you relaxed. There's not many fans on this podcast at the moment, chilled and relaxed. Yeah. So it's good to We're talk to you. We're not really going anywhere, are we? So it's, it's, quite, <laughs> it's quite a nice change. Yeah, nice one. All right. Cheers, fellas. Thanks so much. Cheers. Cheers. Take care. Bye-bye.